this video I'm gonna talk about Kubernetes jobs. In previous videos we looked at various other Kubernetes artifacts such as replica sets and daemon sets. Kubernetes also has another construct called jobs uh, which are for completable tasks. So there can be scenarios in your environment where you might want to uh, run a particular task maybe just once and once you're done with it you don't want it to run uh, that task again so usually what uh, you know we, we call those kind of tasks a job so there can be some other special case scenarios as well you might want a task to run five times or ten times a certain number of times and definite times and you are done with it after that or even more granular use cases might exist uh, you might want uh, a task to run every uh, month first Monday something like that and and once you are done with it and it's done for that particular time period and it's a completable task Kubernetes supports these kinds of uh, uh, use cases using its artifact called jobs so let's look at jobs so in this uh, video so I have uh, as usual I have uh, written a blog post on this previously so I'm gonna uh, walk you through the same and uh, yeah so uh, so in terms of jobs uh, I already have uh, um, a YAML file created for you which you can it's the same thing here so um, so the job kind is defined in this particular API batch version one. So I have given it a name busy box, busy job, and it just gets the image busy box, a popular busy box image, and then it runs a command hello world, and then sleep for uh, ten seconds. And uh, so this is what uh, uh, I'm trying to do uh, here. So let's run uh, this particular command first. And uh, let's see what happens. And make sure your Kubernetes cluster is up and running. And uh, this should uh, create your job. So as usual, uh, it creates my job. So let's see uh, the, the subsequent commands that I want to uh, execute here. And completions, uh, you still see it as uh, uh, duration. Uh, 12 seconds and let's go and find out if it has created any pods now I just have created a job and I haven't told anything about a pod uh, or anything in this command but you could see from this YAML basically uh, what I'm asking is to create this container which means it will eventually create a pod uh, when I create this so let's see and uh, yeah I have some other stuff running as well and it says uh, the status says completed because it's uh, 10 seconds past and if I had uh, checked this thing uh, before 10 seconds it would have shown uh, uh, running and so forth so we can we can run it again and uh, so uh, let's see and, and that part is completed and it's not it's uh, uh, you, you can just leave it as that to also let's say if I can I can run it again maybe uh, yeah so the job is unchanged so I will have to uh, delete the job delete the pod and come back uh, to run this again so let's do that um, oh, so let's first delete the pod so as you usually do uh, on uh, Kubernetes uh, delete pod and I can delete this pod. Uh, so let's select this. And, uh, this should delete the pod. You should not have it anymore. Let's go see uh, the the jobs and uh, busy job. You see the completions. It's available. Let me delete that as well. And, uh, Yeah, 
So job is deleted. So let's run it again. Um, and it's created. So let's quickly go and look at uh, our pod. As you can see, it's getting created and it's running because it's uh, in a while uh, you should see it has completed. And because earlier we saw that after 10 seconds, it will be completed. Yeah. So 10 seconds gone past and it's completed. Now it's a just one time task. Right, so that's a pretty simple scenario. So, but we we might also have some special case scenarios when it comes to, um, you know, jobs such as you might want uh, jobs to run four times back to back once uh, your work is uh, done, and in that case it will create uh, four different pods, uh, one after the other when the uh, job is. Done. Uh, let's say when you when, when the initial container or initial pod finishes its job, so it will start back uh, another pod and uh, it will start doing the work once uh, again. So for that uh, we need to add these completions property. So let's do that uh, to our. Um, so let me take a copy of that. Uh, Simply, I just need to add this uh, completion section here four times and let's see what happens. And, uh, uh, <coughs> okay, uh, so I need to create, uh, I need to delete the job once again. Uh, yeah, let's do that and also delete. Uh, remaining pods <coughs> let's see. yeah so as you can see when I deleted the job the related pod also disappeared which is good to know right <coughs> so now let me create this okay now you've got your completion job created so the first job is getting created the container is getting created it's running and if you just stay for like 40 seconds you would see four different uh, uh, containers uh, up and running or also you can get these uh, logs of this particular uh, so as in here you can just get the logs uh, uh, so that you can see what's getting executed there as you can see it just executes hello world as I have instructed in the uh, YAML file. It just echoes that. So let's go back. And yeah, two jobs completed and one is running now. Uh, in a while, okay, the third one is completed now, the fourth one is running. And uh, yeah. So in a while, we should be able to see all four completed. Well, and it's pretty simple, and this is uh, a very simple demonstration of jobs and uh, yeah so now we can delete the jobs as well uh, so put jobs and if I delete this job all four pods related to that uh, job will also be deleted and uh, yeah so when I do that go back and see you don't have that those pods uh, again so I mentioned another special scenario of the job artifact is uh, the ability to run your jobs at a specific time and in if you're if you're coming from a unique Linux background you uh, might already know uh, cron jobs uh, the word cron jobs uh, for you to run a special shell script or any other program or, or python script or whatever uh, at a uh, regular intervals you can run it with uh, cron jobs so cron jobs uh, will make sure that uh, you provide instructions uh, using a cron expression such as this one and make sure uh, that uh, you know that cron expression cron expressions are very ubiquitous and it's been there for ages uh, as, as I recall and uh, 
you know these jobs can be uh, these, these prone expressions are very powerful and it can state uh, things like uh, you know uh, at what time you want to execute your uh, task uh, in what interval maybe your exact time you can say if it, it's like three o'clock in the morning or 3.15 in the morning, uh, things like that you can uh, instruct as well. Or I, I recommend you to uh, go through or Google uh, Chrome expressions and learn about you know these uh, Chrome expressions. Usually, uh, you know, Chrome expressions has um, uh, five parameters and the first one uh, stands for the minute and the second one or the first expression stands for the minute and the second one stands for the hour third one is for the day of the month and fourth one is for the month and then the day of the week and so forth right so th this particular thing uh well, you know this particular expression uh, basically what it does is it will run uh, a job every minute and uh, you'll be able to see that so let's quickly uh, do that operation here and uh, yeah, and I will let me see. Yeah. One job. And uh, let me just paste this uh, here, and uh, let me run that. Apply that busy cron job and it's getting created and uh, you should be able to watch these pods getting created using this particular command. Um, uh, looks like I don't have the watch command here, that's fine. Um, yeah, secure so plugin get pods. Um, I should. Uh, seem like getting created. Um, let's see if the job is created first. Yeah, job is created. Uh, yeah, it's taking a bit of time, I believe. Uh, yeah, so so if you keep on looking uh, for some time, every minute it's going to create uh, uh, a new pod. And, uh, you know, have your task run every one minute. So, which is going to be useful, and this is just for the demonstration purpose. But usually, in practical circumstances, you will have requirements to run task every day, or maybe once a week, or at a particular time in a, in a, in a uh, weekday, and so forth. So, those kind of uh, practical scenarios uh, do exist. So let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, you know, the second one is uh, running right now. So likewise, if you just keep on looking at uh, this every minute, it's going to create a pod for you, uh, which is going to be useful. So this is a very useful uh, Kubernetes uh, uh, resource. So explore this option. Um, yeah, so that's all I uh, have today to share with you. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, short video. And uh, I'll see you in a new video very soon. Take care. Thank you.